This is the next day uh, down at the local gym and I'm in the same spot where the wasp versus spider action happened. It was this part of the building here but it's what's happening on the ground here now. That's a real spider mystery. The beep has been removed from this video and as always this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. Now down on the ground there I'm pretty sure that's four black house spiders just underneath where that wasp was working. Now I wonder if the wasp has given these guys a bit of a stinger and their fate has been sealed. My phone's about to kill over in the heat here. Let me just pick up this bigger spider here. I'll just see exactly what's going on. I've moved into the shade. Uh, the iPhone just wouldn't work out in the sun. It is a very hot summer's day. I did pick up all the spiders, the four spiders that were just under the zone where the wasp was working. We might take a look at that bigger one where my thumb's pointing. Okay, this is the biggest of the spiders there. It is a black house spider. People tell me if you have these spiders around, it keeps the red backs at bay. I'd actually concur with that idea. Now, finding these spiders in the spot where that wasp was working, it has me thinking, I dare say the wasp, this is my theory, has got us stung into other spiders within the spider nest in that zone. And this is the outcome the next day. Now, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, maybe you can tell me what's gone on. But looking at this spider here, it is, in a sense, still fresh. Uh, as for why a skink or something hasn't come along and cleaned them up, or a bird, is a mystery as well. And just rolling the spider over, in a very klutzy way here, it's a little bit weepy around the back section there. You can just sort of see it losing some fluid. It is really, really unusual to find a group of spiders on the ground there dead. And I know what was happening there the day before. My tiny brain saying, oh, this is connected. Maybe you can have your say on that. So there's the four spiders. And many people say that wasps will come along and it'll be like a paralytic sting they give. There's absolutely no life in these spiders. Okay, I can't get any sort of movement or if I touch them a bit, I can't get a flinch out of their legs. Nothing at all wants to make these spiders want to move. Oh, crikeys. That one's it. I told you it was a bit fluidy at the back. Well, there it is. I've got my iPhone cover off because, well, it does make the iPhone work a little bit better in the heat. And what I will do, because I'm a good boy, is I return these spideroonies, oh that one's falling apart, uh, back to where I found them because I would hate to upset the balance of nature and especially that weepy weepy one here that's going all yucky. Blah. Okay, just heading back to where I picked up the spideys, the shadow has crept across the building a bit, which might save my iPhone from keeling over. This is the spot here. I'm putting the spiders back here because it could be some circle of life thing that I have no understanding of and I'd hate to upset the circle of life. Everything in nature tends to be connected and have a purpose. I dare say to some other critter that is one hell of a feisty meal. This is the next day again. So it's two days after the wasp versus spider Rooney and it was only yesterday I put the dead spiders back into this spot here. Let's see what's down on the deck. Well, down there's where I put those spider roonies. I can't see any sign of them at all. They've been gobbled up by something. Now, I'd say the bulk of the spider activity here has been numbed by the wasp, although I can see a small spidling here. But I know the wasp was doing lots and lots of things here. And I don't think there'd be any spiders, major spiders, left in here at all now. I had a look up at the next window area, away from where I saw the wasp working, and I could see, yes, there are black house spiders in the area. In fact, the whole zone, if I looked all around, it's really dominated by black house spiders. Black house spiders, like many spiders, revel in neglected things. Now, where the black house spider nests are here, this part of the building has never had a tenant. Although it is directly connected to the local gym, and that's always been a hive of activity for redback spiders. Now, during 2020, the gym had a couple of things happen to it. It was renovated, and also it had a major COVID scare in there. So the whole place got flushed out, cleaned out. And from what I can see, the redback spider environments have been heavily affected. This building, made by man, is almost the perfect spider home. 
There's nooks and crevices for spiders to live happily. There are lights on all the time which attract the bugs. When the spiders set up their webs, there's not too much cleaning up of the webs going on, so being a little bit unkept really helps the spiders thrive in this environment. Hanging out with the black house spider was another smaller brown spider. I'm not exactly sure how these spiders are connected. I did think maybe it's the male version, but then if I read about a male black house spider, it's a much smaller spider with a smaller body, but it's got long legs. I don't think this is the male. I think this is maybe a brown variation of a house spider. Although, when I start reading about black house spiders, people say, oh, they come in a brown variation as well. It's going to need someone with pretty good spider eyes to understand what's going on there. And spiders like beetles, they are extremely complicated when it comes to identification. But what was nice, considering I found those dead spiders, there are lots and lots of spiders here, alive and well. And that's what we want to see. So yes, all along here is the domain of the black house spider. I can't see any red back spiders at all, but the gym has changed and maybe what's going on here is a really, really nice thing to see. There's black house spider spiderlings all around the nest there, so the next generation is building up and the lovely wasps in the area will have plenty more spiders to catch in the future. How wonderful. And just under those black house spider spiderlings, I notice what looks like a green-headed pony ant has grabbed an immature wasp. So it's just a reminder that out in nature, you've always got an enemy lurking around somewhere.